If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me wearing this gorgeous flower fairy costume by Fiore Couture. It's worth $3,000, so definitely a luxury piece. First up, we have this gorgeous crown. Look at the beautiful details. I love all the colors. See this hidden beautiful butterfly. I'm feeling very Tinkerbell right now trying this on with my hair up, but the look that I have designed, I'm gonna have big, huge curly hair, so I'm really excited to put it all together, but let's just try on this crown over my bed. <laughs> and you just wedge these in the back of the outfit. I'm gonna have Tyler help me get ready when I'm actually filming this whole look, but I wanted to try it on for you guys. Also, I just wanna wear it more than once. My new camera that I'm trying out, the Nikon Z30. There's me. It's a big mess Ooh, all around, but this is generally what happens when I'm filming. Tyler got me a Starbucks. I got the prettiest makeup from Gucci. I bought this, I'm not on their PR list. So I have this base makeup look on. It's pretty, but I think outside it's gonna get washed out. So I decided to do like a fairy core wing inspired look. And as you can see, this mural only covers a little bit of the wall because I'm gonna be shooting this way. And I never get measurements right. So I didn't know that it was gonna be this tiny, but it totally worked out. And I actually have a photo in front of a mural just like this. And I didn't even know that I bought the same one, but I did and I love it. accidentally deleted so many clips from the fairy shoot. We only did it in like 10 minutes because there was so many bugs in the Spanish moss. So if you want to do cute photos near that kind of tree, maybe don't. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to get a haircut again and I thought I would do side bangs. I'm thinking kind of fluffy 80s, Brooke Shields inspired, little bit of massy block. We'll see how this goes, but this side of my hair, as I always complain about, is thinner, so I don't know if I'll be able to get the like fluffiness to it that I want, but hopefully we can. I changed my top to this very massy ruffle top and I thought it would be fun to do a little hair reveal on Instagram so I curled it and I just love how the bangs look. Like it's really not that different to me anyway because I have had this haircut before but it's just a little extra fluffy and I'm so happy that I got it done. Shout out to Angela, she is who cuts my hair and she's amazing. I'll have her link down below if you're in the St. Augustine or Jacksonville area. Put on my favorite fall fragrance. I am so in love with this one. Mm. Wanted to show you my new case. This is the baby animals case, but spooky version from Velvet Caviar. And I got this for the Halloween season. I also got a new um, coffee please little thing. And I've been having a great day listening to Taylor Swift on repeat, of course. Tyler and I are headed to St. Augustine, but first I'm shipping out a Poshmark package and I'm obsessed with these little cards from Rifle Paper Co. I got this for my birthday. It's a little cartoon me. So I'm writing the card and then, yeah, we've been loving just trying new places to eat. Mm. What's that? What is it called? Hamburguesa. Hamburguesa. Walking to Chaco Lattes, we love to get a charcuterie board and some wine there. And I just love being downtown. I wish I went to Flagler College. Maybe I will one day, go take up a class or something. Look at all the fall decor. Yeah, the kitchen oh, sink looks good. Mm. That thing is huge. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. 
It's on the black thing. It flew in when I walked in. Yeah. We're helping out the store. Okay, now sip your wine. It wasn't focused. <laughs> Let's see if this is RC or something. Can you see me through it? I can see your eyes. Oh, whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> wait, wait, stay there. <laughs> I know, we'll do this next time. I know. I love them. Okay, sandwiches, cakes, cheesecakes, brownies. Mm. We're in a pet shop. Look at these. <laughs> My parents just got a dog, so I might pick one up for when they visit. Back home after some wine, I got a coffee because I do have to pull an all-nighter for a video I made for Necessaire. And I got compliments on my nails. Come on, focus. Come on. These look so real, but they are just glue-on nails from Olive and June, and then I painted them, and they're lasting forever. I keep switching the color, so highly recommend. Good boy. He looks like a little bunny. <laughs> Back with my bangs this is my second day hair. I just have it in a claw clip and I've been doing some PR stories and this is the Buxom Hot Toddy collection. I'm wearing it right now. It smells so good. It's very like cinnamon apple baked goods. Oh, it's amazing. I keep applying this gloss and it tingles but doesn't like hurt tingle. It just feels kind of cooling, plumping effect. Lots of birds. <laughs> and I wanted no, I wanted to do something very fall in this vlog, so I'm gonna make some pumpkin cookies. Pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I never really bake by myself, but I found this on Pinterest. I have to try it. Made myself some peppermint tea, and here is the recipe. Brown butter pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. It says the prep time is only 15 minutes, which I like to hear. And I pulled out a bunch of the ingredients. Let me make sure I have everything. I need butter. all-purpose white flour, baking soda. I just asked if baking soda was edible. The extra fall step. And for chocolate, a company called Miro, hopefully I'm saying that right, sent me a bunch of chocolate, and this is all plant-based and delicious. I haven't tried any of these, but this feels empty and it's open, so I guess Tyler got into the peanut butter cups. And they are non-GMO, keto, and vegan. I'll have to do a taste test of this stuff. I'm having major cramps right now. So I will be eating a lot of these cookies when they're ready. Hi! First step is browning the butter, but there isn't a video tutorial for this one, so I... I don't know a lot of like basic steps. It says 10 tablespoons of butter, but I can't like scoop hard butter. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> there's like, there's lines on the bar. He can hear me in our room, me attempting. I was literally gonna take a spoon and like start scooping the hard butter. Never mind. So I'm gonna melt this amount of butter. I gotta cut it. My saucepan's on medium. Whoa! Brown bits start to form at the bottom. Okay, it's happening. That's already happening. Do I already move it? Oh, maybe. Oh, it smells so yum. I bought some mixing bowls to do this because I didn't have any. Medium mixing bowl. Pour this in. Add granulated sugar and brown sugar. Three fourths of a cup. Got 
Gotta use my kitty spatula. I know my mom got me one, but I can't locate it. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's about here. My cramps are making me frantic. <laughs> for plant-based chocolate because they did send this over to me. I have a code on screen for money off. And let's add a bunch of these. Oh, chocolatey and pumpkin-y. Okay, add flour mixture in three batches. Gosh, my coordination freaking sucks. I think I did it right. I will see you in 30 minutes. I'm gonna let this chill in the fridge. Passed out so hard. It is late. <laughs> it's dark outside. Um, let's finish up these cookies. Oh my god, I'm half asleep right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to make cookies. Is nice. this is this parchment paper? Yep. Is it okay that there's more than one? No, you just take one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing bad will happen if I simply Those don't. You don't think they'll like smush together, do you? Um, I would spread them like exactly what you're doing. I'm smart. You're smart. Okay, bye. Bye. Ow. There's like glass on the floor. Mm. So I did something wrong in here with the paper, but they look pretty good. So here's my baking fail. These are my first cookies, okay. But this is wax paper, I think. Not parchment paper, but I don't know the difference. So yeah, I'm scraping the cookie. It's leaving <laughs> quite a chunk behind, but these look pretty good. I just decorated this pretty vintage inspired plate with more of the Miro dark chocolate chips. Mm. Yeah, this recipe is so good. You should definitely try it. I'll have it linked down below. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video.